Hey guys, it's Maisy and welcome back to Project Cars. This is round 5 of the AOR GT3 Elite League. And we are racing in Brands Hedge this, uh, this, this time around. And this is the track that I don't like very much. But on this game, uh, it's one of the laser scanned tracks. And, you know, to be honest, it's quite enjoyable to drive if you hook a, a great lap there. So, uh, let's see. Uh, my qualifying lap, uh, you have to watch out those curbs and also those curbs on the outside and the runoff areas because the the curbs are scanned uh, with a laser and they are very bumpy, very bumpy. Uh, first time I drove on this track I thought that my wheel is going to destroy itself because it was, it was rattling over the curbs like crazy, but... Uh, you have to stay off the curbs most of the most of the time. You can take this one uh, pretty easily, and you can hit this inside curb as well. But you can you have to watch the oversteer, uh, and also the whole track is quite bumpy. Uh, this this is oh quite uh, interesting one, <laughs> and I went a little bit wide there, but I <laughs> held no, no, no. at least two no. wheels uh, inside of the track, so I was pushing like crazy, but. Um, uh, in this qualifying session I didn't hook up a great lap but still let's see uh, what the time will be this across the line good. it looks like it's going to be in 123 yes it is uh, low 23s which is yes. quite good which is more or less um, the best ones I did and uh, you can see the qualifying results F1 Massa on pole position with time of 122.1 wow once again half a second of Pedro and Yorki in third, also in 122s. Then uh, in the fourth, it's Centro. Then in fifth, Remy Boo. Uh, I'm uh, in sixth position, which is quite good, but I should have been uh, higher up because I had another qualifying lap, but I missed the last sector. Uh, also, Andrex in seventh, then eighth in Tipple, AJ in ninth, and closing the top ten is Tony R, my, um, my teammate. Brownski is in twelfth. He didn't hook up a, uh, quite a good lap, but he's still uh, pretty competitive and uh, hopefully uh, he will do a great in this race. As we have Yorki in 3rd and Andrex in 7th and they are our main competitors in this in this season I believe. So we have to watch those guys in the Yorex team uh, in uh, BMW Z4. So uh, without further, further ado, if it's that correct, uh, let's see what, uh, what's going to be happening in the race. <laughs> yeah. no, so here we are, Brands Hedge Grand Prix. We are starting on the inside of the of the grid, which is good to be to be on the inside in the first corner. Lights are on, and off we go. And looks like Central had a really bad start, and it looks like we have uh, we had a great start, and we are behind Rambin in the fifth. We have car on the inside, and we are going wide. Oh my God! And we are spinning in the gravel. That's not a good start for myself. And uh, <laughs> at this point, I think my race is over. To be honest, because the pack is already behind the oh, turn yes. two, the uh, tight right hander as we are approaching right now, and it's pretty much. Uh, all over for myself. I'm running over the curb quite hard, trying to you know calm myself down. But we still uh, we still uh, we still uh, have the pack in front of us, which uh, which is good. And uh, through my practice, I I feel quite comfortable in the car. I set my car to be a, a bit oversteer with the differentials, which helps uh, with the turning and also with the braking in oh, some braking oh, areas. Where I have to turn and brake as well, for example, you know, turn one especially. And um, now we are closing the gap to the guys in behind. It looks like Hutch were in Hutch was in 16th place, but he was overtake he overtook by, I think it's Central, or maybe not. It's Central, maybe it's so, somebody somebody else. <laughs> but uh, now we are looking at the AJ. No, it's not AJ. It's Wise guy, his teammate, who had some problems and went white. And now we have two abreast in the last uh, last corner, and we are. Oh, we are diving on the inside of Wise Guy, but he closed the gap. He didn't know that we are there, but I forced my way through those guys. It was a bit hard, but you know, rubbing is racing. Cheers, guys! <laughs> and Wise Guy is is a, I think Wise Guy he is in the in the team which is called Rubbing is Racing. So I think he understood. Understands, and we took two positions in first lap. Well, we lost like. Um, 
like uh, 15 positions on the star, but it looks like there was a tipple on the in the gravel uh, on the outside of the of the second turn. So that's a position up for us once again. So we are in P15. Silver Arrow is in uh, 14 in front of us, some uh, like the two seconds uh, in front, and still feeling quite comfortable in the car. And the tire wear, the tire wear is. Um, it's looking quite good, well, it's just a second lap, so I don't have an idea what the tire wear will be. But I'm planning uh, stopping in the middle of the race, so I'll like lap 22, which, uh, which seems fine. And we are still closing uh, the cup to Silver Arrow, we are now uh, one and a half seconds. So we, so we closed uh, like a half a second in the <laughs> second sector. Whoa. And it looks like Silver Arrow, Arrow is fighting with the BMW, and I don't think it... I, I don't know if it's Nost or no Nostra. It's a Centro, but Centro was uh, Centro was uh, quite high up on the um, on the grid, and this livery belongs to Centro and also F1 Massa. So maybe it's this is F1 Massa, but I'm not sure uh, because he was on pole position. So I think he had quite good. Oh, it is F1 Massa. So he had to spawn or had to have some sort of problems there. And we close the gap to Silver Arrow and now we are in the pack and <laughs> we almost run into Silver there in the back in his Audi. Uh, so we have to watch his breaking points because uh, this track is quite good on taking uh, you know, different lines uh, through different corners. And now we are using the slipstream of his Audi and also our top speed advantage. But he has the same car but I'm, I have no idea how his car is set up so... Uh, we went for the outside lane and oh my god that was a great overtake from the outside and this part of the track is quite dangerous but um, he gave me a room and also I didn't close uh, his, my inside so we didn't crash so well done fair play to him and we are now following F1 Massa who is in the 13 in front of us and it looks like there was a BMW which is Lucas Schumacher and also quite Pedro RC who was also higher up on the field so we took like three places and also AJ is there on the outside and I wait went to the inside of the last turn but he had a better line and better exit but we still following him and we are trying to look on the, his inside in the first corner quite difficult uh, overtaking maneuver here uh, but we didn't make any mistake, uh, but st we still uh, slotted behind AJ and now we are going to dive bomb him, but uh, didn't quite make it because I thought that it was quite dangerous, so I just braked a little bit uh, earlier and he gave me also room, he didn't close on me, so thank you for it, AJ. But now it's coming. We are coming to the uh, back straight, which is quite good for my car and looks like oh another Audi, which is a uh, Nostra. Uh, a Silver's teammate uh, who had some uh, bashing with the other car, I'm not sure who that was. But we are now on the outside, oh well, yeah, we are past AJ already, <laughs> before this, this turn. Feel so, I, 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 right now yeah. I was feeling quite confident that I can have uh, podium results maybe. If I will pick a car uh, lap by lap, or maybe once uh, one, one by one, I can have uh, quite good results, uh, you know, think that I had yeah, I, I was like 16 or 17 after I'm the first corner him, with like five seconds uh, behind the last one behind the second to last car and now we are in p8 and just four laps to go oh sorry we are now just four laps in and we have Tony R in uh, in front of us just like some four and a half seconds and if you if you will uh, look closely to my uh, time gap uh, and it's, it's closing down it's closing down it's still two and a half and now it's closing to two or say still two and a half seconds but uh, this is live gap so in every turn it's, uh, so it's alternating the gap now you can see that I have just screen. four seconds to him yeah. and it's good because uh, he's sorry. he's you fighting with you're another you're cars and uh, you can see that there are like five cars in front of me with Tony R and now Tony uh, overtook Jellyfish in that corner and we are almost a second uh, up on my uh, fastest lap which was 126.3 so we are in 125 uh, my race pace should be around 122 well no so sorry 122 124s like uh, low 124s when I get into my rhythm and maybe 123s but this is just uh, uh, 
occasionally when I break into 133s. But now I have uh, free air and it looks like I also um, beat another time uh, of my fastest lap, so it's a second up. And you can see Jellyfish is just a 2.8 seconds uh, up the road and also he's fighting with another car so that's good for myself and I'm also pulling from F1 Massa which is which is great uh, which is great but I'm pulling him off he had some bad luck I think he spun or something like that and looks like oh, I don't, it looks like Centro had some problems in his BMW so it's a uh, very bad results right now for uh, for I don't know uh, it's world where I'm racing team I think Centro and Massa uh, but um, you know, this is good for my for my team, which is because I mean P7 and Broski is uh, is way ahead of me. I think he's fighting in a top top three, top two, maybe I'm not sure, but this is good points. I hope that I can I can pick some guys in the in the next stages of the race. But now I'm concentrating on um, closing the gap to Centro in his BMW, and it looks like I'm doing that quite easily because he made a mistake so I'm just uh, half a second behind him and taking the corners quite good. The car feels great so far I'm really comfortab com comfortable with the car on this track uh, even with the oversteery behavior which I said I, I, I know that Bramski hated it. <laughs> when I joined the lobby he said Maisie who's paying you to to give us shit setups <laughs> so he didn't like it. He likes the understeer more than uh, oversteer, and, <laughs> and so far it looks uh, it looks like he made a better choice. Sorry, to, to, to adjust the setup Couldn't to his liking. But still, uh, we are behind Centro in P8. It looks like it's yeah. Yorkie in fourth. So we have okay, fourth to. Right. Massa is behind me, so fourth to uh, ninth place. We are on one piece of the track, so it will be very difficult to overtake here. And hopefully, I can do this without any contact or without any any major problems for me. Looks like Centro uh, had some twitchiness in his car, and I'm trying to. Uh, I will try to oh, close up line. close up on him. Yeah, I just saw you spawn in the, in but, the mirror. Uh, he's quite but fast on the straights. Else in his BMW and 3 GT car and he has still F1 Massa behind me so I'm sandwiched between two teammates it looks like Central went a bit wide I, I'm just behind him it looks like Yorki has some problems because he's holding us up quite a lot and Jellyfish is looking to overtake uh, Yorki and uh, also Tony are watching them both and now <laughs> everybody's choosing their lines into the final corner Yorki went defensive and he's trying to fend off a jellyfish and also I went uh, on the inside of Centro which um, which worked and also I, I, uh, I pulled uh, F1 Massa also and now we are approaching the turn one and it looks like my car is going to slide and F1 Massa just you know touched my rear he had nowhere to go sorry mate uh, I just I, I I watched Tony's Tony R's car and I was quite surprised that he that he went um, quite wide so I tapped the brakes once again and with the oversteering differentials I had set up I I just went into the slide and couldn't hold it so I lost I lost two places there and it looks like Centro went also uh, with spinning with his cars with his car so that's another position back so it's not a disaster but damn I I regret that mistake but still it's AJ in front of us and we out overtook him quite uh, quite fast on the straights so uh, right now I hope that I will do the same now we are in lap 9 still in P8 uh, with Massa just behind like 2 seconds behind me so we are pulling from him and also we are closing on AJ who's fighting with Yorkie and AJ made a bit of a mistake with the oversteering there and we are going to overtake him or maybe not because he went uh, defensive, defensive in that corner so we have to wait for the back straight and hopefully we will pull uh, some outside overtakes or maybe uh, we can you know uh, just drive uh, next to him and also overtake him before the corner so 
hard on the power, a little bit of an oversteer there, a short chip tip up to 4th, then up to 5th, and he's going defensive and I'm going to for my outside lane. And I'm going to try to hold it there, not giving up, and yes, AJ is behind me, so great, great stuff. And we have Ryorki in front of us, once again, so it, it looks like Ryorki um, have some damage or something like that, because uh, the two Aston Martins, Jellyfish and Tony, are, are just in front of the road, there you can see them. And uh, I guess they are uh, like two seconds in front of Ryorki, and they are pulling away from him, so I have to pass Yorki as fast as I can to be able to catch uh, those Astons which is uh, Jellyfish and Tony R. Still P7 so it, it could have been better but also it could have been much worse after first lap and also after that uh, first corner spin uh, last last lap or the, the laps, some laps um, in the past and yes it looks like we are closing on Yorki it looks like he had some problems. He has some damage. I think he was um, he was telling on the team speak that he he was coming with the uh, with Brownski together. I think, but there were some lagging problems, so it wasn't anybody's fault. So Brownski is still in fight for the lead of the race, I believe. I'm not sure if he's leading or if he's second or third, but um, I I would guess that uh, Andrex is there in front. And also Ramibu, I think, is fighting for the top three with Brownski. A little bit of oversteer there on the on the fast right hander there, and closing on Yorkie quite fast. It's just uh, seven tenths between us, and also AJ is one and a half seconds behind me. So I just have to look forward not uh, to cover my cover my cover my position from AJ, which is great which is also great to have just concentrating on one thing and not defend and attack in the same in the same time so it's still lap 12 it looks like just um, like 10 laps to to my pit stops and you can clear, clearly see that York is slower so uh, I will try to overtake him on the straight because it, it's the safest is the safe uh, safest uh, thing to do and I will try to uh, prepare him for the for the back straight. Yeah, York is driving uh, quite well, even with the damaged car. And he put a great qualifying lap as well in 122. So he did some practice. He did some practice on on this race. And now I'm trying to you know use the slipstream, but the slipstream doesn't work as much as in maybe F1 cars. But it <laughs> it's enough. It's enough. Uh, thanks to his damage and you know thanks to mine uh, top speed advantage but he's still holding there he didn't give up like uh, like guys I overtook there uh, last time so great <laughs> All right, let's not really. Sorry. so great to Yorkie uh, so driving the curbs yeah. quite harder I had a lot of problems man. there with the with the very fast right hander king what time did you go uh, when I have to you know clip uh, the inside curb there, right? and sometimes Ooh, it, it launches the car yeah, about two uh, even times, wider so, uh, and uh, uh, when you touch the you touch the grass yeah. under acceleration yeah. and turning with this car and with this setup uh, I was also I was you know in spin yeah, already <laughs> just like instant so P6 Tony in P in P no it's not Tony I, there was it was Tony in lap 13 but now we are in lap 16 so Tony overtook Jellyfish and now we are looking at his Aston and also I think that's Tony in front of him so uh, Jellyfish didn't hold on to to his uh, attacking moves so York uh, not York York is falling back it's AJ behind me right now and uh, Tony is pulling away so he's in free area and he can concentrate to his race and still looks like we are quite fast we are faster than majority of the of the drivers here so I was really enjoying this part of the race I was just picking guys and closing the gaps and <laughs> now jellyfish uh, went a little bit deeper there in the corner but Aston is quite fast on the straights but I think my Audi is closing up closing 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 yes and we are going to sell him a dummy 
not that not that was not dummy, but we made my car as ma as big as as possible in his rear view mirrors, to to just you know uh, scare him a bit that I'm going to ram him, but I I wasn't going to do it because that's under that's uh, you know not in the rules to ram somebody, and that allow us uh, to sneak through as he made a mistake there. I think this is Jellyfish's first race in AOR, maybe second, second or uh, not in AOR, maybe in just a elite lead, elite lead. But he was he was doing quite well. He's still behind me in P6, and now we have Tony R in front of me, and I clipped the bump in there, and I'm going into the wall straight. Oh my God, that's disaster! Yeah, I was just you know, I was just hating myself right now. <laughs> I was sweating and <laughs> and now I'm can even you know uh, hold the car in the in the, on a track and you can see that my wheel is broken my my steering is broken my car the whole car is broken so I have to just go into the pits thankfully it happened in the uh, in the second sector which is not far away from the pits and you you can see Yorkie is closing up so we are in P7 and Yorkie will be in P6 I'm just telling Yorkie right now that I'm yeah. going to pit so uh, I'm going to stick on the inside, so York is there, and right now I have to, I have to just push, push with the new tires, not give him, uh, not give Yorkie uh, a chance to, to come in front of me. That will be crucial. That will be like a fight, um, pit stop fight. So hopefully uh, my crew will repair my car faster than uh, his crew will re repair his car. So also I'm changing tires to softs once again. Ah, oh, that was a that was a bad mistake. I was I was having a quite tough moments in that corner where I, where I made the mistake. There was a a bump on the inside of the corner, and I was catching I was oversteer moments uh, quite often in practice and also in this race. But this time uh, it looks like my tires were giving up on me uh, once again, and I just couldn't couldn't catch it all. I overcorrected and just slammed into the wall. Yeah. So now P16. I'm. I think I'm the first one who pit it. So that's quite understandable. We have Lukas Schumacher, Lukas, I know Lukas Schumacher, in front of us, like seven seconds ahead, uh, up the road. And now I'm just, you know, I'm screwed. You know, the race was great and I lost like a maybe podium finish. But, you know, top 5 was reachable. Top 5. Top 5 was reachable. But now in fresh rubble, rubber, I have to dig deep once again and just forget what happened and trying to not make a mistake as Yorkie will be pitting. And I have to make sure I'm faster than him right now. He has a damaged car, so I should have some some breathing space. But you'll never know how how much his car is damaged. I think my car was damaged uh, much more than his because he was still continuing from I think lap two or lap four, or lap three or four, as he had some aero damage. And he is now telling his exiting bits, and that there he is on the on my inside. There's Yorkie. And oh, thank you, thank God we managed to stay Excellent in front of him. So uh, right now he has a fresh rubber, also fast car in the straights, uh, repaired car. So with his pace, uh, as he was running in 123s in uh, and 122s in uh, qualifying, I think he will be he will be on my bumper, just glued to my to my rear of my Audi. And in this oh yeah, corner, especially, he will be closing up because <laughs> I had quite uh, quite problems to uh, to to be fast on that uh, left hander. But I'm making up uh, my losing time on this straight. Now in lap uh, 22, it's a uh, it's a uh, you know like pitting window, so everybody is in the pits right now, and uh, <laughs> we are in P13. We have Lukas Schumacher in front of us in the BMW and 3 GT. It looks like we are closing on him quite fast, so he's on all tires. I'm on the fresh, fresh rubber, which is great. So uh, it should be no problems to go on the inside of him in the last corner. Maybe I'm, I'm using a slipstream. Yorkie is behind me, and I'm going for the outside overtake. And <laughs> look, I hope uh, he's going to the pits. Yes, he's going to the pits, and thankfully Yorkie also went for. Um, you know, he was following my my uh, my uh, racing line, so. 
he wasn't uh, he didn't uh, oh how, how I have to say he wasn't taken out by Lucas who was going into the pit so great great uh, situational awareness Where is Jackson, from anyway. both of uh, us uh, now <laughs> lap 23 one lap later you can see Pedro yeah, is going into the pits and also a lot of cars into the pits and exiting the pits so uh, right now we have jellyfish in front of us once again jellyfish so uh, hopefully we can sell him uh, some sort of a you know scary move once again uh, but yeah uh, P8 which is not great but it could have been much 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 better without my two mistakes or three <laughs> you can see my Yorkie still behind my ass and we are closing jellyfish in lap 25 of the t uh, 45 lap race uh, jellyfish still in front and uh, he is in front by one and a 1.1 seconds uh, Yorkie is just you know just behind me so I have to watch my rear every in every braking areas because he's quite uh, good on the brakes and his car is also good on the brakes or it looks like his car is good on the brakes and he's also um, a bit faster in the corners that's definitely uh, true uh, that the Z4 is a very agile, agile car and it likes very fast you know downforce depending tracks and <laughs> looks like jellyfish went into the and crashing into the wall and there is AJ and oh yeah there was AJ in the wall and then he spawned yeah, and this is oh, Jesus, uh, yeah. this like is something interesting because my car is quite destroyed I can't move and looks like it's a disconnection oh for Pedro, Massa, Martin van der Lucas, yeah, so myself like maybe yeah, yeah, yeah Silver like Arrow nice. it's massive disconnection oh, so that's 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 race over for myself it looks like so it's the also it's the race, the race over guys. for for this this round and four, four, you can hear that what we are discussing uh, how much is this account is it five Whoa. points uh, uh, we've gone down from, from 19 to 12. Out. that's over five people yeah which is over five it's people, people right? yeah. 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 yeah there are some people so going sideways and i'm disconnected yeah i just lost this one fucking hell yeah Yorkie summed it up quite pretty well. Fucking hell. Yeah, so guys, that was the race. And thanks to mass, mass disconnections and also that we finished 50% uh, of the race. Uh, the race is over and uh, the results uh, are uh, counted in just before the lap 26, I believe. And it turns out that Brownski went for the no stop strategy with. Uh, um, with the uh, soft tires so he was like 40 seconds in the lead when the mass disconnection happened and he won the race so great great job Brownski and also Ramibu in second place and then is Andrex UK in third then Massa uh, went uh, to take up a fourth place then Tony R in fifth then AJ in sixth then Jellyfish in seventh and we are in P8 then it's Yorkie and Tipple closing the top 10 also we can see that we are awarded by uh, half a point so Brownski gets uh, 20, just 20 points for his uh, win not 40 and it's following the same pattern to last place so uh, we are going to see a half a point so that's going to look quite uh, nasty in the driver's table but uh, maybe we will have another race where we going to have a mass disconnection so maybe they will even out but hopefully not so this is the driver's table uh, from all the rounds from laps uh, from around one to round six it's still f1 massa in the lead but he's followed by mini black who didn't race this time and also papan who didn't race this time and they are were quite lucky because you know uh, massa and also bransky didn't uh, have full points so they are still hunting Massa down on this championship, both of, both of them. And we are in P6, which is quite great in this uh, caliber of drivers who are racing in the, um, in this season. So I have Brownski, thanks to his win, uh, just behind me. So um, our team, uh, team championship looks quite good. And we are going to see that right now. 
And you can see the Black Ducks still leading from uh, Team Wolverine Racing, which is F1 Massa and Centro, by just by 80 points, which is quite quite a lot. Uh, despite then, they didn't race this time. And we are in third. So it's bronze. It's a third place. So podium. And uh, we are ahead of Yorex Racing Team. So um, they are our main rivals, but maybe we have to look to Centro and F1 Master to maybe capitalize on their mistakes, maybe, in the future. And not making mistakes on our own, <laughs> hopefully. And also watch the Yorex Racing Team, because they have quite good drivers in Andrex and Yorkie as well. Next up, it's uh, the Hockenheim Grand Prix, uh, which we raced also last season. And I have good memories there. Uh, I was fighting with Brownski there for the lead and also with Kaki who went into the pits and it was quite a mistake because uh, the race was just a no stop, no brainer on soft tires I think and we have quite a good battle throughout the race with Brownski and he just, you know, he just took the win just like second in front of myself. So I'm quite looking forward to this and also we are racing uh, from like 6 a.m. on this track and also in the wet and there will be a transition, transition in the middle of the day to, to the dry tires. So we will have changeable conditions once again in this week and in this season. Hopefully thank you guys for watching, uh, I hope you enjoyed the video and also the racing. I think I enjoyed this one very much, very much indeed. Uh, it's a shame that we have uh, mask disconnections on this track because I think even with the mistakes I could have been in top 6 easily. But you know, we'll never know. Uh, again, thanks guys, and uh, I see you on the next race. Bye-bye.